This video is about pseudocode and flowchart. These are types of algorithms relating to any programming language. Pseudocode is a textual notation of an algorithm, whereas flowchart is a graphical representation of an algorithm. There are standard notations for flowcharts. These are start, input or output, process, decision, flow, direction and connectors. Those are basic notations. Now let's see how to do a flowchart. Here I am using draw.io. It is an online drawing tool which can be used without paying. That means it is a free software. Here you can see there are number of types of diagrams available in the software. I am using here the flowchart option. Select the flowchart option then click on the create button. This is the interface. Here on the left hand side there are standard notations available for drawing flowcharts. Here I am selecting notations. My objective is to drawing a flowchart for the process of inserting 10 numbers from the user and then calculate their average and display on the screen. And I have taken here notations for start and end. Then to have input and output, the standard notation is parallelogram. So now I am typing inside the notations. Because I know the inputs are numbers and then the output is average. Uh, without placing the notations in the correct place, I am just getting the notation into the working area and type there some texts relating to the program. After that, I make them in order. Later on, I have to use variables total, also count to count the amount of number. Also, I will have to make decisions whether the amount of number exceeds 10 or not. So now I am typing here uh, is count is 1. You can use here either single equal sign or double equal sign to compare whether the count is uh, equal or not to 1. This is a box. Now 
normally they are connected with flow lines this is the flow of data or the flow of instructions before using the total and count variable I have to initialize them the purpose of total is calculating the uh, total of every number inserted through the keyboard purpose of the count is count the amount of numbers inserted through the keyboard it should be 10 finally I am connecting uh, notations in the flow chart. First, I have to initialize variables. Uh, this uh, process notation should be in the same size. Okay. After having the number as input from the user, then I add them to the total variable. Then I uh, increase the value of count by 1 for the first time. The count is 1 initially. Then after having a number count should be increased by 1. Also total should be increased by number. Then I check whether the count exceeds 10. If it is not exceeds, I have to go back to the input. And I should uh, connect this arrow to before the input number. Uh, and after the total and count initialization rectangle should come down oh, right here and after getting the whole numbers uh, the average should be calculated here. I have to have another notation for the process of calculating the average. I can divide the total by 10. And I will connect the notations. Uh, now the diagram is almost finished but uh, I should insert here uh, text no or yes it may be either false or true now here I am starting the flowchart with start then uh, after initializing the variables I take the input from the user then the input is added to the total also the count variable is increased by 1 at the each time the user inserts a number then this is an iteration after checking the condition whether the count is uh, exceeding the 10 or not if it is not exceeds 10 again go back to the input then again go to the process adding number to the total likewise it should be iterated for 10 times after when the count becomes 11, the process should be terminated. This kind of
process or the programs are called programs with iteration structure this is the iteration point if the condition is not true iteration occurs we can draw this in another way also using the condition as true for the iteration and this is a do until loop after the condition becomes true here the average is calculated then it is displayed here I have taken number as the input AVG or the average as the output this is how we draw flowchart using an online software also you may use another software there are number of software available on the web for free Before starting a program, like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's see how to write pseudocodes. These are the words normally applicable with pseudocodes to indicate insert, process, output, a selection and repetitions. We can use these words or words similar to this. Now let's uh, discuss about some examples with uh, pseudocode and flowcharts both right as the first example I have taken a sequential process which is the calculation process of pay amount based on hourly pay rate and number of hours the next one it is also a sequential process calculate and display the average of three numbers here the flowchart and the pseudocode the next one is selection structure program the expected result is a message saying the given integer is odd or even this program has a selection structure with if condition the fourth example is an example for repetition structure it displays the average of 10 numbers which I have discussed earlier thanks for watching don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe.